For this next section, we're going to bring in the CSV data into a 2D array so that we can process it and place our markers in the right position on the map. Now, we're going to use a bit of repetitive code to parse this CSV into our arrays. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of setup, but this piece of code that we copy over is just something that you'll reuse anytime you want to import data into processing from a text file. The first thing that we're going to set up is a variable to hold the contents of our text file. This is going to be a string. Um, we're going to call it CSV um, because that's what it is. And it's going to be an array automatically. Um, this is because when we bring it in, it's going to interpret every one of the returns in that text file as a new line of data. So this, is, this string CSV is going to be a list of all the meteorites. Um, and to fill that CSV with the data from the text file, um, we'll need to um, have a line in our setup where we define what CSV is. So CSV is now going to equal um, the contents of this function, which is called load strings. This is what you use to bring in data from a text file. Um, so I've got the, the function there, and I will just copy in this meteor strikes name. Again, this needs to, to live in quotes. And let's just run this to make sure that everything is working properly. OK, so the strings are loaded. Um, I'm going to get rid of this rectangle that we had in the previous instance. And I'm going to use the console for the first time. I just want to make sure that, that everything's accessible. So I'm going to type out this line, print lin. This means print something to the console. And I'll tell it to print CSV, our variable that's holding the contents of our, our text file. If I run this again, there we go. We have 34,000 lines of juicy meteorite data in our console. Um, so everything's working OK so far. I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to set up the 2D array. Um, this is the list of lists where um, rather than having everything in rows, we're going to now split everything into rows and columns so that we can access any piece of data that we want. Um, you know, In this CSV, we could access a line of data by saying print lin CSV, and then in one of the brackets, just giving, giving a number like 23, because I know this is an exceedingly long text file. I know that 23 will be in bounds. If I run this again, you'll just see the, the 24th line of, of the text file. What we want to do now is split it up at all these commas so that I can access any, any piece of this. To do that, we'll need to define uh, the 2D array that we're going to use. Um, this is going to be a string again. This one I'll call my data. And we'll tell it to be a 2D array by having two sets of brackets. So I've defined that variable. Um, now I'm going to explain to processing how big I want this container to be. Um, I want it to, to fit the data properly to be efficient. So um, what I'm going to do is say the size of my data is a new string. And I want it to have as many rows as the meteor strikes.csv file. Um, so we know this is like 34,000 something. But we can actually get at it directly by using this little uh, convenience method of saying csv.length. So that will just fill it in automatically with the length of the, the CSV file. And I think we have, and here we can count the number of columns that we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six columns. So I specify that as six. I'll just hit run to check it again. Everything is going all right. Um, the next step will be this bit of um, reusable code to split up those, um, those CSV lines into um, our 2D array. So I'm going to copy this from the reference file. Um, actually, I'll, I'll type it out again. Um, we're going to use our first for loop. So um, I'll just set up the basic skeleton of the for loop. This starts with four open parens and closed parens, and then an open brace 
and a cl close brace. Um, now I'm going to set up the conditions for the for loop. Um, this will be um, for an integer i that's 0, um, while it's less than the length of the CSV, so CSV dot length, um, increment it. And that's i plus plus, or i equals i plus 1. And then what we're going to say is that this 2D array, my data, um, for each of the positions i in this container, we want to split that CSV um, on, the, on the string that's a uh, character of a comma. So CSV i uh, dot split. This is a, a string function that will tell it the character on which we want to split it. And if I've done everything correctly here and hit run, it's, it's done that all in the background. Now just let's just print some random bit of my data to make sure that, that it's working correctly. So I'll add another print lin. Um, I want to access my data at position 23 again. But this time, I want the, the fourth row, or the fourth column in, in row 23. Um, close that and run it. And there we go. I have one, one bit of locational data being spat out. So I think everything's in the system now, um, where we should be able to cycle through it and start making our markers. Feel free to copy over these, this for loop or even the completed set, setup section now that we're done. Um, this, this splitting on the commas piece of code is something that I typically just copy from one project to another, and I don't worry about memorizing it 